Hi, I want to apologize about the uh, quality of this video today. I'm doing this from home and um, some of my cameras didn't work the way they normally do. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, chapter 9 is about putting together the information that we already learned from chapters 1 through 8. Uh, there is new information about it uh, or during this chapter, but in general, it's about the application of stuff that we've already learned. So, um, in this chapter, it's really mainly about how to buy or build a PC. And so first we're gonna cover um, the build part, or I'm sorry, the buy part, uh, and how um, you need to look at build or buying a PC. And then we'll get into the build part, which is more of an application of what we already know uh, in the class. On the ICANs, um, there is an ICANN missing, 9-10 on this particular list, which is, um, on um, buying a PC. But in general, most of these we already know. We've gone really uh, from 9.4 through 9.9 already um, through different chapters in the course. Uh, one through three are the things that we're gonna spend a little bit more time on um, in the instructional part of this. But then um, the application is about all of those things. Um, so the first thing we want to talk about is, is getting a PC online and what the advantages and disadvantages are of buying an online PC. And when we say online PC, we mean a pre-built one either from a ma major manufacturer or from a, a what is called a clone manufacturer like Newegg. Um, Newegg uh, has a number of different pre-built options but they're not um, from a major, major manufacturer usually. They do have ones from Dell and HP that are rebuilts. But in general, those are the clone side of things. When you look at um, something like a Newegg, which is somebody else, another, still a company, has put together all the different parts and built a PC. Whereas when we talk about from a major manufacturer, we're talking about ones made by Dell or HP um, or Acer or any of the, the big manufacturers that, that um, does more on backing their PC. So as far as the advantages go, there's actually three. I don't have one listed on here. Uh, the biggest, though, the one that applies all the time is that it's quick and easy. If you buy a PC online, you get it ready to go, you turn it on, it's got Windows installed, um, it should have all of its device drivers installed. Not always true. I had a student who bought a laptop um, that had to send it back because the drivers weren't installed on the PC and they weren't available. Uh, but in general, it's always um, quicker and it's always easier to buy a pre-built because someone else has done all the work for you. Um, it can sometimes possibly be more cost effective. Uh, not always. So that's, a, that's a, a chance you're taking whether the PC that you get pre-built is actually a better deal than if you build it yourself. And that's one of the purposes of the project in this chapter is to learn... Um, how or when, what kind of PC is usually more cost effective, which kind is, you, is not. And in general, the lower your budget, the more cost effective a pre-built might be. The higher your budget, um, you can certainly find P, uh, PCs that are pre-built for, for the high end of the budget, but they cost more for what you get in general. The last advantage that I forgot to put on this list is warranty. Um, I know I've talked to you in the past about how all the parts have warranties that are inside your PC. The question is whether you can send a PC back when it breaks. And if you go with a major manufacturer like Dell or HP and your system is still under warranty, whatever that warranty is, then um, you can usually send the whole system back or they'll fix it at your home, depending on the warranty, um, and get it done without you doing any work at all. So the warranty is actually more of a factor with a, with a um, major manufacturer like Dell or HP um, in that you don't need to know anything about a PC in order to have stuff maintained. If you buy a clone or if you build your own, there are still warranties, 
but the warranties depend on you pulling out the individual part and sending it in to get it back. And those warranties are usually longer than what you get from Dell or HP, um, but it requires you to have um, some level of knowledge and no level of knowledge is required for a system warranty from a major manufacturer. So that's the third one that's not on this list as far as an advantage of buying a PC online. There are also disadvantages of buying a PC online, and um, those disadvantages are um, kind of the inverse in many ways of that list of advantages. And again, I did not get one on this list as well. I'll show you where that list exists on our website and in the chapter nine book, obviously. Um, but uh, so when you when you buy a pre pre-built, you may not get exactly what you wanted. Um, there are um, set configurations from the manufacturer and that's what you get. Um, the second disadvantage of a um, online pre-built PC is that in many cases you do not know what the components are that came with that PC. You may know what some of the components are um, and usually you're always going to know um, the CPU make and model and that's usually the only one that's included everywhere. You will most likely know how much RAM is on the system, but you don't always know what the speed of that RAM is. Uh, obviously it always has a motherboard, but you don't usually know on many of these pre-built configurations, especially those from major manufacturers like Dell and H HP, that's where you usually know the least about the system uh, that you're getting. Whereas when you go more towards a clone, like um, when you buy on Newegg, now you're getting to know more and more the parts that you're getting um, but the biggest major manufacturers while it's an advantage to have a system warranty you also don't know a lot of what you're getting the last uh, disadvantage well i should say the third because i said there's one more is that you don't know much about it and that goes with the unknown components um, if you build it yourself you have knowledge of everything that's in there and what the individual warranties are on everything that's in there whereas if you buy a pre-built you don't the last disadvantage of a pre-built is the fact that um, you can get what's called bloatware inside your PC. And this is covered in the um, Chapter 9 book. So if we go there to the Chapter 9 book, the first section here is on these advantages and disadvantages that you would see. And the last one is bloatware. Bloatware is software that you get in addition to Windows. Uh, when you buy a PC from Dell, it will say some version of Windows is pre-installed. What it does not tell you is all the other junk that you may get with it as well. Um, trialware, bloatware, multiple versions of, of things like um, uh, internet, um, browsers, you might get four different internet browsers on your machine when you only wanted Google Chrome, or you only wanted Firefox, or you only wanted Safari, or you only wanted uh, the uh, browser that comes with Windows. Uh, you're going to get multiple things that you didn't ask for when you buy one of those machines, and that's not necessarily true true with clone machines, but it's almost always true with manual manufacturer machines. That's one of the things that they're getting money to give you that lower price, that software vendors are paying them to put trialware on that, that system so that you might buy that software later. You'll, you're going to get, if you buy a PC from Dell, a free version of Office that works for a limited amount of time of antivirus softwares. In fact, I've seen PCs that have as many as three different versions of antivirus software installed on there. And by the way, every version of antivirus software past number one slows down your com computer um, terribly. So you don't want more than one version of things on your machine. It fills up your hard drive, it makes your systems run slower, and that's why it's called bloatware. It bloats your system. So you can get a brand new PC that's already got a bunch of junk on it you don't want. So um, bloatware, I have a little uh, picture down here on the thing. It includes trialware, includes utilities that you didn't ask where for, it includes adware. Um, bloatware can make a brand new PC uh, 
feel junkier than it needs to be, which is a disadvantage of buying a pre-built computer. Mm -hmm.